Warriors, I'm Ben and today on Android Games Pod, two Marvel games will fight one another and only one winner will come out in this new episode of Versus. And quick reminder before all hell breaks loose, don't forget to turn on your notification bell, that is the bell next to the subscribe button so you're never late to the party whenever new videos are out. First and foremost, I played the Android version of both games on PC using Bluestacks. It was easy enough to install and if I have the option to play my favorite mobile games on a wider screen without hassle, I wanna take it. I did and let me tell you, it's worth it. That out of the way, let's analyze the two challengers. Starting with Marvel Future Fight, which came out a while ago and is a brawler action game where you put together a team from a mix of heroes and villains from the legendary comic book universe. With a very similar concept when it comes to team building, Marvel Strike Force on the other hand is a turn-based action game with some strategy elements into it. Story-wise and spoiler alert, Marvel Future Fight takes place in an alternate universe and the story follows the Avengers as they respond to a new world-ending crisis. The threat coming from an unknown force is attempting to tear apart reality as we know it, or since they're in an alternate universe as they know it, and they're to face evil versions of superheroes to try and save the people of that world. But us over here, we're safe, right? Not really. As in Marvel Strike Force, War has come to Earth as Ultimus, a Kree warlord who has jumped from one dimension to another, conquering every version of Earth along the way. And the only one left is ours, and it's up to you, the only line of defense left to stop him. The plot, as with the rest of the video, is something of a personal preference, but to me, I'd rather be defending this Earth. So Marvel Strike Force takes this one down. When it comes to gameplay, both games share a lot of things in common besides the heroes and the Marvel Universe. You upgrade your character's equipment, gain money to enhance their skills, XP points to increase their levels and character items to unlock new characters and up their rank. The mechanics are different though, while at the end you're still knocking some sense into the villain's faces with Spidey, Iron Man and others. Strike Force features a turn-based combat system where, for instance, you should probably use this turn to heal your team rather than attack, if the strike won't be a fatal one. Future Fight, on the other hand, is more of an action brawler. One could argue that it also involves tactics, with each of the superheroes being of an element and one element is weaker than the other, but I don't think it has that much of an impact either way. These being Marvel games, I want to see some action-packed fights, fast and furious style, so Future Fight wins this one. You would find yourself constantly on the move in Future Fight, whether you're smashing the strike button, the specials, or swapping characters, and this kind of fast-paced games calls for smooth controls, and I found it to be okay, but not as good as they should be. I've encountered issues here and there that can be very frustrating when, for example, one of your team members is about to hit the road and you're smashing the button to swap characters and it's just not responding. My experience was much smoother playing Strike Force, and so with no surprise, this round goes to Strike Force. Both games showcase some decent graphics on mobile, but outside of cinematics, which are equally impressive, Future Fight dips in a bit in terms of visuals. Maybe it's to keep the frame rate with everything that's happening on screen, maybe it's because it's the older game and was built for older, less powerful devices. Either way, Strike Force comes up with the win. Once again, with its impressive graphics and special effects, not only that, but the character animations are top notch. The two games feature a decent soundtrack and when applicable, good voice acting. And as much as I'm concerned, it's a tie. So when all said and done, who's the winner? Who is the best out of the two? And in my opinion, and this is mine, and you're free to agree or disagree with me, Marvel Strike Force is the game to beat. On top of everything mentioned, it's meta game pacing, both in terms of energy recharging and the speed of unlocking and leveling up characters never feels slow and pay to winish. Yes, it's not bringing anything new or innovative to the table, but it shows how free to play mobile gaming can be done right. And this sums up Marvel Future Fight vs Strike Force. I'll leave links down below to download one, the other or both. 
and I'm curious to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Which one is your favorite? And what's your team build? Drop it down below and if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate your thumbs up and if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button as I make new videos like this four times a week and the best way to see them is to be subscribed. There's also Patreon for those of you who want to support the channel even more and you can do just that for as little as a dollar a month. Once again, I'm Ben, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time right here on Android GameSpot.